Hey guys, so we've been out in the canning garden doing some work and I thought I would take you along and show you how our Goldman Italian tomatoes are doing. These tomatoes is what we use for our tomato sauce. So we try to have a lot of plants each year and our initial plan this year was to have enough to make enough sauce actually for the next two years, but unfortunately quite a few of our plants did not transplant well. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened, but it just didn't go well. So let me show you what we do have and how everything's going so far, and hopefully we'll still be able to get a good sauce harvest this year. So we're working with cattle panels this year, and this is what we did our first year of gardening, and we really liked how it all worked out. We've experimented with different styles the last couple years, and we just have not been super happy. So we initially planted the first five panels was all Goldman Italian. Unfortunately, the first row is a complete row. The second row, I believe we're missing, oh, I'm sorry, we're, we are missing one plant from the first row. I think we're missing two plants from the second row. Maybe only half of the plants made it from the third row. Only one plant made it in the fourth row and none survived the fifth row. So I'm not entirely sure what happened, but here's a look at where we are so far. I'll take you out to the first row just because it's the easiest and it's the most full. So our plants are looking really good. They've gotten nice and tall. As you can see, um, we started with the panels lifted up off the ground. Uh, I don't know. 10 inches or so depending on where the ground level is and we've got drip irrigation started for the first time this year which we are loving that we will be investing in doing that on all of our panels whether it's beans tomatoes it doesn't matter obviously all of our tomatoes are still green however you can see that we have a pretty good amount of tomatoes coming up and this guy is my favorite he is huge <laughs> that is like three tomatoes in one these tomatoes do take on a funky shape, but we love the way that they come out for sauce tomatoes. That's where the one, the one plant did not make it. We have had some tomato worm issues. You can see here it's been chewed so far off all the tomato plants, which we have more over in our kitchen garden. Grace and I have found, she found one and I have found 12. So we've been keeping a really close eye on our tomatoes just to make sure that we're catching them in time. And so far we've gotten really lucky. There's been very minimal damage. So all we do is we keep them strung up. We keep them tied up. We use this green twisty that we get from Tractor Supply. We keep them tied up to keep them up off the ground the best that we can. There might be a little straggler here and there that get away from us that we don't realize right away, but as soon as we notice it, we put them up. And then we just mow in, in the aisle ways. It makes it so much easier. We do pull the weeds right along the plants just to help keep them weed free and make sure that they're getting as many nutrients as possible. But everything's looking really good so far. When, when they do turn green, it is gonna be like full on, be ready to make some sauce kind of thing because they're, or not when they turn green, they are green. When they turn red, it's gonna be full on, be ready to make some sauce kind of moments. So we're ready, we're excited. Everybody's ready to see some red tomatoes. Let's go check on this lonely little plant over here. And it works out well. So when we planted them, we staggered them. So like this one, I don't know if you can see, is planted on this side of the panel. So then a couple of feet over, we planted the next one, which happens to be right at this T-post, on the other side of the panel. And then this one's on this side and so forth. And we did that all the way down. Here's our, our lonely tomato plant over here. He had a tomato worm on him a little bit longer than the other ones, but we caught it and we fed it to the chickens and they played catch because they're like kind of terrified of them but also want to eat it so it's kind of funny to watch but they're doing really good so yeah that is our Goldman Italian tomato so far in our canning garden that's how they're doing on the cattle panels that's our method this year we're loving it uh, we have got these cattle panels in with these 
tall steaks. Like I said, they're lifted up off the ground. Next year, we're going to alternate. We're going to do beans, peas, cucumbers, all sorts of other things through here just to help try to kind of replenish the soil a little bit. But these panels, all of them, will be staying here, um, keeping them permanent. And this is the way that we're going to do it. Again, this is the, the method that we have liked the most that we've tried. We've tried the Florida weave. We've tried steaks and just running strings. And try, Oh, my gosh. We've, we've, we've failed, that's for sure. This is what we like the best. And our plants are happy and healthy. And we've got tomatoes, so I guess it's working. What's kind of funny is I'm super excited about tomatoes. And I don't like tomatoes. I don't eat them. I don't like them. I think they're nasty. But I love tomato sauce. I love Italian dishes. I love using sauce in dishes. So these tomatoes I get super excited about. And again, this dude here. He's my favorite. I'm loving him. Can't wait for him to turn red. Not green, because he is green. So yeah, that's our uh, tomatoes this year up on the cattle panels. So let me know how you do your tomatoes. If you use cattle panels, what you think. Do you have them raised up off the ground? Uh, do, you, do you do something else that you've been successful with? Because again, our other methods were a no-go. Our plants would always end up on the ground. Our tomatoes would end up rotten. It was not, it was not, it was not pleasant. It made tomato, tomato season very stressful. So this is what we're doing. This is what we're loving and our plants are loving it. And it is actually easier to see the tomato worms this way. So it's working out really well. Thanks guys. And uh, hope to see you on the next one soon.